this is MKFan49 with another review. Today we'll be reviewing the TMNT crossover of the Universal Monsters, April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. So here's the front of the box, the side of the box, the back of the box, the other side of the box, and when you open the box. This is what you get. What's included for the figure. And let's unleash the Bride of Frankenstein. So this is the new, this is the April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I, she can rotate her head 360. Can look up down, side to side. You can rotate her arm. 360. Can go out to the side. She does not have any bicep swivel. She can only bend about 90 degrees. You can rotate her hands. 360. Um, due to the way she has, she does have a waist joint. You can give her the sort of splits. It's only this far. Um... You can get almost a double knee bend, which is nice. You can also rotate at the leg. Feet can go forwards and backwards. She does have different accessories. She does come with this nice dagger, which is awesome. The old school microphone with the call signs WTRL, which is a O call sign for Midland, New Jersey radio station. And she does come with a purse with a bone inside. You cannot remove the bone. She does come with one open for the whole, the one um, weapon hand and one open palm hand. She does come with an alternate head, if I can remove it. There we go. Let me get this back in. There, that's the alternate head sculpt. She comes with a miniature. If I can get it up. Give me a second. I think it's so small. A miniature spider, which is nice. Two rats. That was done experimenting on. One with the eye and one with an extra ear. And for comparison, here she is with the OG. This is actually the black and white version of the Bride of Frankenstein. You can get her to stand for me. Here is the cartoon, April O'Neil. This is the movie, April O'Neil. Can you get it to stand for me? There we go. Here is Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera. If I can get him to stand for me. And last but not least, Donatello as the Invisitortle. And which is really nice. I do say this is actually a hard figure to find. It's my first time finding this figure in the wilds. Um, I will say she is worth picking up. I am digging. I really do love the old school microphone with the old school call letters is what they would use for all the radio which they still do for today's am and fm radio stations to tell you where it's coming from what part of the country city all of that but also this is a great for any tmnt slash universal monsters collector so please drop a like comment down below share the video subscribe to the channel if you like the content that i'm providing and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos and shorts. For any shorts and videos you may have missed, this is MKFan49.
signing out. It's alive!